Welcome to the Met Office 10-day trend. September is often a busy time of year for us meteorologists, and this year is no exception, with right now a number of powerful storms around the globe. But what about close to home? What about across the UK? Well, for the next week or so, generally changeable will sum it up, with no two days ever the same. There are signs that it could get a little bit warmer, especially as we go into the early part of next week. But that does depend on things happening further afield. And what's going on in the tropics will influence our weather over the next week. That is going to be the main area of focus for us uh, weather forecasters, as I say, over the next seven to ten days especially. Let's take a look at the big picture first of all. And if I just head out of the way, I can show you powerful Hurricane Florence. Now, that storm is not going to affect the UK. Let's be clear about that. It's going to bring some pretty horrendous conditions to parts of the United States. Further south, we have other areas of low pressure which may influence things. This is Hurricane Helene, well out in the open waters of the eastern Atlantic at the moment. But that may influence things in combination with this area of low pressure over the coming days. More on that in a moment. First of all, let's get through the next few days because high pressure is the main feature as we go through Thursday, which will bring most places a fine day. After a chilly start under that high pressure under clear skies, certainly across England and Wales, uh, quite a cool night compared to recent nights. But although it will be a bit chilly first thing, there will then be plenty of sunshine through Thursday and just a, a sprinkling of showers, chiefly across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And temperatures after starting not far from freezing, getting up not far from 20 20 degrees in some places. Cooler in the northwest and cloud gathering here. You'll notice that is a, a set of weather fronts which will drift in through Thursday night and then start to push further south on Friday, bringing cloud and rain and a stronger breeze for many. They move out of the way and then high pressure is in place for the start of the weekend, but then more weather fronts threatening to come in on Sunday. So that's what I mean by changeable weather. No two days the same. But with high pressure nearby, at least the start of the weekend, although it could be, again, a little bit chilly, looks dry and bright. Many places will have a fine day on Saturday. And then we start to see, well, the breeze certainly picking up on Sunday, but the uncertainty also starting to lift. There is likely to be some rain on Sunday, but exactly where? Well, again, now we need to concentrate on the uncertainties and the potential influences from further afield. This is the temperature profile through the weekend. We start with the greens, a cool start to Saturday, but that gets wafted out of the way from southwesterly winds, wafting ever warmer air across the country during the weekend. Now, that warmer air also will bring a bit more cloud and some rain, but it also brings more energy, and that does bring more uncertainty. So don't take this chart as exact for Sunday. There will be some rain somewhere. But the key thing about this is you can see the source of that line of rain and track it down to here and areas of low pressure, which will contain what's left of Storm Helene. Now, this is the forecast for Sunday, four days from now, and a lot can happen to those storms. It's not expected to be a hurricane at this stage, but it will still provide moisture and energy into the atmosphere. That moisture and energy, and if we look at the temperature, you can see how much energy, really warm air at this stage across this part of the Atlantic. That increased energy means increased uncertainty about developments beyond Sunday into the early part of next week. What do I mean? Well, I'm going to show you charts now from three different computer models for Monday, in particular, the focus for this area of low pressure and how it develops. Now, this is one scenario. This is Monday's chart. Here's the UK. And there's that area of low pressure I was talking about. This is one scenario, but another computer model has a much more intense area of low pressure. You can see it again here, the orange colors suggesting a lot of energy, more isobars around this one, but it is further south. And another computer model has that same bundle of energy, that same low pressure system, still pretty intense, but even further away. I'll just run through those three pictures again, just to give you an idea of the uncertainty about the position and the intensity of that low pressure system that will contain at least some remnants of that storm Helene. So the developments here will then impact things quite a bit for the UK as we go into the early part of next week. There's a lot of uncertainty around the developments of that low pressure system. It could well bring some very warm air across the UK. If we see some sunshine, temperatures could really shoot up. But equally, it could also bring some pretty wet and windy weather. The potential 
And that's all it is at this stage, the potential for some extreme weather one way or the other, or even a mixture of both, with some parts of the UK seeing jumping temperatures. Other areas may just get the wet and windy stuff. So it'll be an area of uh, keen interest for us meteorologists, developments out in the Atlantic and how they affect our weather early next week. What about beyond that? Well, most of the computer models are now signaling a pressure pattern like this for the latter part of next week, with low pressure systems to the north and west, and it looks like higher pressure to the south and east. The closer you are to the high, the drier the weather will be, the closer you are to the low, or the windier and the wetter the weather is likely to be. But this is a while off. This is later next week before we get here. Of course, we've got to go through that uh, interesting scenario for the early part of next week. That is something we'll be keeping Keeping a very close eye on. We'll be giving you updates across the Met Office website and, of course, across our social media channels.